Over the years, Phytech has released multiple forms of injectors, trying to improve and make them the best that they possibly can be. We currently have three versions of uh, injectors. When you start looking at them, you can see minor detail changes, but one thing stands in common with all of the injectors. If you look at the manufacturer part number on them, they all end with a dash and then a number. This signifies what injector size each of these injectors are. So if you check out that part number on it, you can jump onto our website, phytechefi.com, and you can look at the injectors, dash three, dash four, dash five, dash six, and so on. And that'll tell you what pound rate the injectors are. Now, one of the things that we did with the most recent injector iteration is the part number that we currently use on our website is now the serial number part number on the injector. But just to keep with that dash number, we also threw that at the end. So this one is an 80 pound injector. So the part number on it is 10080-4. If you jump on our website, it's just 10080. If you had a 62 pound injector, it'd be 10062. Now, the injectors over time, they're cross compatible. You can jump between them. There's nothing internally as far as how they operate. They're all the same. So they're all 12 ohms. They all generally have the same spray pattern. The injector O-rings, the size, the length of them is the same. And the injector connector is the EV1 mini timer connector. Now, a question that we keep getting is, is there filter baskets in these injectors? The answer is yes. Every single one has them, but they all look a little bit different. So let's dive in, get a little bit closer, and I could show you the filter screens on each of these injectors. So on the left, we have our oldest version of injector. Kind of an easy way to tell it is where the connector plugs in. There's kind of a plastic casting that's squared off on it. Now, I have the injector uh, filter basket already pried out, but this is the injector basket that's on it. So this keeps as a last defense any kind of debris outside of the injector. To get it off, all I used was some uh, wire cutters, I kind of wedged underneath and I rocked back and forth until it came out. So this is a way that you can kind of clean them. You can spray carb cleaner on the back side of them, flush them out, but that's the filter basket on these ones. To push them back in, they just snap in. They're directly accessible from the top and pretty easy. The next two injectors, physically looking, they're basically the same, but they have different filters in them. So the easy way to get through them and to pull them out is to use a one inch long, four millimeter machine screw. You can screw it in to the filter basket in through the top. I've already done these ones, so it should be loose. And we can pull them out. So this filter basket is directly in here. You should be able to find them online. Uh, it's six millimeters by seven millimeters, I believe. And for the latest version, a lot of people get confused and think that there's not an injector basket in it because it's just completely hollow. It's just sunken in there really far. So with this one, I got my screw in there. Again, it's kind of a, an easy thing to use needle nose pliers to kind of yank them out. They're just pressed in. That's the filter sock on the new ones. They're much smaller. Don't be worried about the size of it. Really what keeps the injectors safe is the filter leading up to your injectors to keep the fuel system clean. We offer 10 micron filters on all of our fuel delivery kits and we recommend using a 10 micron or finer. So if you're doing a factory filter, it's usually five micron. So that's really what keeps the injectors safe. Again, these little filter screens are the last line of defense. That's kind of a quick overview on all of the Phytech injectors. If you have any questions regarding the injectors that we offer, please leave us a comment down below or check out more tech videos for additional information on other products.